people my name Kellys and welcome back to my channel or if you are new here hello and welcome did I watch Mains by Mel color Amanda's hair and immediately as soon as I finish the video buy the things to do it on myself why yes yes I did <laughs> Just a disclaimer, I am not a professional yet, I'm still going to attempt this on my hair. So if you want to see the process and the finished result, hopefully it turns out amazing and not a disaster. <laughs> but keep on watching! I struggled for like 10 minutes to part, but we're looking pretty perfect. My professional gloves. I am working in diagonal sections as directed by Mel. And I am keeping my sections very small. Brad Mondo would be proud. By the way, how many hair videos do you watch where Brad Mondo is mentioned? <laughs> I think at this point, are you even dyeing your hair if you don't record it, upload it to YouTube and mention Brad? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> I got the measurements from Mel's video, which I will link in the description box because I do keep mentioning it. <laughs> But anyway, for the highlights, I'm using 12 grams of Wella Colston Perfect in the shade 1261 and 12 grams of shade 1289 with 44 grams of 40 volume developer. I went as close to the root as possible, but I did leave a little bit of a gap of maybe one to two centimeters. And another tip I've learned from Brad is to be really generous and saturate your hair with the mixture, which is what I'm doing. As the ends of my hair are already lightened, I didn't go right up to the ends and just coloured up to where I thought kind of looked darker. When editing, I cut out a lot of footage of me trying to section the highlights because that part was so hard. <laughs> um, you'll see on some sections I just kind of wing it and hope for the best. <laughs> like I'm doing now. <laughs> you may be wondering what I did to prepare my hair for being coloured and the night before I clarified my hair, I did an Olaplex 3 treatment for a couple hours. I conditioned with Keratin Fresh Conditioner as it has a lot of protein in it to strengthen my hair and in the hopes I wouldn't damage my hair as much and then I let my hair air dry. And speaking of damage, the good thing about using a high lift colour is it isn't as damaging as bleach. Again, this is another tip I learned from Mel, so watch her video if you want to know all the details on that. I also want to take this time to talk to you about what I did after. So when I got done Olaplexing and toning after colouring my hair, I used Curly Secret Vitamin Hair Mask as it's super hydrating and this was recently gifted to me. I then used Honey Curl Shampoo as this is really hydrating and I used Keratin Fresh Conditioner which by the way I have a discount code that I make a small commission off in the description box. However, I do not recommend this for regular use or if your hair is lower porosity or protein sensitive as like I said before it is packed full of so much protein so if you use this too often you could experience protein overload however I am loving it so far and I do like to use it every once in a while when my hair needs a bit of a boost of protein. To style I used Flora Curl Curl Activating Lotion and their Curl Defining Gel on wet hair I also have a discount code for these in the description box, but I do not benefit at all if you make a purchase, it's just to help you guys out. And I chose these because both of the products have a little bit of protein in. I then plopped and used Eco Slay Orange Marmalade on damp hair and diffused until dry. I do want to say that a bit of thought process went into choosing out my products, I picked them out very carefully. I wanted to use a combination of products that I know work for me rather than trying something new. I opted for a decent amount of protein and also I wanted to use lots of hydrating products to help my hair bounce back as quick as possible. We are almost coming to the end of my highlights, finally! I tried to work really quickly, I think it maybe took me 40 minutes to do it all, I was a bit slow. Obviously, I'm new to this, <laughs> but yeah, we're nearing the end. We're almost there. For the low lights, I am using 22 grams of Wella Color Touch in shade five and 22 grams in shade six 
mixed with 80 grams of six volume developer. These are demi permanent, meaning it won't damage my hair as it's just depositing color and it will slowly fade over time. By now, I was getting impatient, so I wasn't being too picky with my sections. I basically take a section and saturate it well from root to tip, leave the next section as it is, and so on. This whole process was a roller coaster of emotions because by now I was convinced that it wasn't going to turn out as good as I had hoped and imagined. Before going into this, I had such high, high expectations and they just kept dropping <laughs> and I was bracing myself for the worst. I also want to add that when I tone later on, I'll be using 26 grams of Wella Color Touch 997 mixed with 40 grams of six volume developer. Okay, so I have rinsed everything out and I am currently all aplexing. I'm going to leave this on for about an hour. I'm really nervous. I hope it's turned out okay. I have a feeling that maybe the lighten section hasn't lightened enough. Um, let me see if I can see. Maybe that could have done with going a bit lighter. It's looking a little orange, but the toner will fix that, hopefully. <laughs> my hair is now toning, crossing my fingers and my toes. I'm kind of thinking like chocolate caramel vibes. That's the impression I'm getting from this. I think you're supposed to leave toner on for like 20 minutes, 30. So I'm, I'm leaving it on for 25. Hopefully it turns out good. We shall see. See you in a bit. is the finished look. My hair looks really shiny and it's in all its clumps. I think in the end I'm actually glad that this part didn't come out lighter than it did because <laughs> I've given myself an accidental e-girl moment. <laughs> oh, how cute does that look? I feel like a caramel swirl. <laughs> I feel like I need to see it in daylight to get a real feel for it and what it looks like and the color. So I will probably record how it's looking tomorrow, but oh, I'm loving how it looks. It's giving me really autumn vibes. And then if I put on my hair this way, cause this is how I sometimes take my Instagram photos. And then if I put it all this way. Oh. And like if I part on this side, it, it kind of hides the highlights that I gave myself. Whereas if I go this way, you can see them more. I love how this turned out. It was not easy to do, I'm not gonna lie. I'm terrible when it comes to doing like intricate things with my hair. So the kind of weaving thing, I couldn't really get that down. <laughs> but I think I think it did okay. I'm really curious to see how this will look over the next few weeks as it washes out. I think my hair is in good condition. My hair doesn't feel compromised in any way, it doesn't feel damaged. So anyway, I will be back tomorrow to show you what this looks like in daylight. This is day two. That blonde is a little bit chunky, but other than that, I'm loving how it looks. What do you guys think? Let me know. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed coming along with me on this ride. If you liked the result, let me know down in the comments what you think. Don't forget to hit the like button so I know that you enjoyed this video and subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I upload every Friday, so don't miss my next video. And until then, bye, see you soon.